last seconds in our closing trades are super easy to choose in the profit. With $30 we made $6,500 and I'm super happy with the result and now on this result I will fix my profit. Let's go to the withdrawal. Greetings fellow traders, my name is Ted Trader and I'm here to guide you through the world of binary options trading. I'll be sharing the most effective and profitable strategies to help you succeed. If you're new to this scene and lack experience, join to my closer telegram groups where I provide a free signals with a 90% accuracy rate. Social trading is also an option perfect for those who have limited time and can't constantly monitor their trades. Simply copy my moves and make profitable deals without needing to be at your computer or phone. Don't forget watch video in full, hit the subscribe button, like and leave a comment. By doing so, you'll be automatically interned into $300 Joe, where 3 lucky subscribers will each win $100 from me. Let's begin our journey together and make some profits. So guys, we are on the broker now, we have $25 in our balance and it is from this amount we will accelerate our today's deposit. We open deals as usual with a minute time frame and all currency pairs they have already will must optimal movement and interest on payments I have picked up. All so far that you can tell that we have picked uh, up uh, both OTC currency pairs and ordinary currency pairs as, uh, as today on the analysis of the strategy which has a universal character of trading. Uh, that is, it doesn't uh, not matter what chart it is and what words are happening. We have Bollinger Bands with period 13 and deviation 2 and we have two oscillators. Uh, uh, there is two uh, RSI, the first one we have the period 5, the second one we have with period 10, we have leave the oversold and overbought zones at 20 and 80 and as RSI period 10 we have leave average value at 50 at RCI. In general, as I trade, you will understand how to use the strategy correctly, so I suggest you start and pick our first entry into the trade. What do we got here? Let's see. And this is where we're going to open a down trade. Uh, great entry into the trade. The opening is trading. Uh, I'm going to explain the principle of entry. We have a new local high, and then after it's updated, in general, we should always have a pull band, and then we have a touch of the upper band here, uh, our channel indicator. And then we also have an additional signal, and we see the excite from the overbought zones on the upper, uh, on our upper RCI, which tell us that the trade should be opened on the down side. And tell us uh, that the price should go into a small pullback as the more than 10 seconds remain. We watch the dynamics of the deal. And our first deal is easily closed in a profit. As I said in the beginning, we had a very good entry point here. So there was nothing difficult here. Let's pick up the next currency pair and consider some other principle of entry into the deal. Let's see. Here we open a down trade, we open again against a trend and we're going to expect a pullback in price as we have a new price high forming, we have a touch of the upper moving our channel indicator and we will 
be expecting a pullback as we are now coming out of overbought territory on both of our oscillators so let's watch the result guys we have uh, just about 20 seconds left And the deal closes in the profit. It was quite risky entry. We opened at the counter trend trade on the OTC currency pair. But actually, when you open trade on the OTC market, it always better. Uh, open open on the trend but in general as you can see the right opening time the right opening level can even lock uh, in a trade profit if you open it again the trend on the strategy no problem sure and let's pick up the next currency pair and consider some other trade entry Let's open again on the same currency pairs. Yes, so we just opened a trade here and we're going to open again here. I see that we're going to have a long pullback and we're going to see the price go away as well. A little bit lower. Basically, the entry is exactly the same. What emphasis of our signal is that we have a green candle earlier that gave us a little bit upward momentum again generally not letting the price roll back normally to correct so that is the future it will go up so we once again open a down trade and we will wait for the same small pullback down so let's watch the result guys As you can see, the second trade opened on this currency first. We still have closed it in a profit. As I say, the price needs a little more pullback. And here we see the first candle and other or a dodgy candle is formed or a pullback candle right here again. The deal is closed in a profit. Again, the trend was opening it and in general you can see the result. Let's pick up the next currency pair and consider some other trade entry. Let's uh, open an up trade right here. Here I'm guided only by our Bollinger Band channel using uh, the knowledge of technical analysis and the concept of the trend. We have a very strong uptrend. The dynamics are here and in general we don't necessarily need to see an oversold area and our oscillators even if it doesn't happen we see that the price dynamics have a very strong upward trend a strongly upward character then touching the lower moving average of our channel indicator after which i think the dynamics should be going upwards uh, so let's wait for the results And as you can see, the deal closes in a profit. So look here, the deal was already opened on the trend. And in general, we fixed the profit. The price has stopped. Here it uh, is not going anywhere. Perhaps a continuation of the trend is forming. Either the area of consolidation. In general, uh, we are already in a good profit. So let's consolidate our gains. Let's consider another entry a deal and pick up the following currency pair.
let's open a down trade here not a bad touch point of course we could find a much better touch point but in general i'm uh, satisfied with uh, this touch point let's open the trade on a pullback uh, we oriented on our Bollinger Bands, a new price maximum is forming, touching the upper moving on the dynamics of movement. We see that the correction of this currency pair is present. Uh, quite often, uh, the upward dynamics is not strongly expressed, so we can afford to open a down trade in a such a place and not wait for the excite from the overboard zones and our two oscillators. Uh, and uh, we have 10 seconds left. And the next trade is also closed in a profit. That is, uh, you see how easy it is to parry the strategy. I'll tell you honestly a little practice understanding the walk of indicators, a set of indicators. Uh, understanding how the strategy works and it will be very easy for you. So let me prove it to you and let's pick the following currency pair, guys. We open a trade on the upside in the direction of the trend we are here with you and gain on the currency pairs OTC and here is a clear signal we open on the trend and we um, are again looking at the trade trend dynamics here we do not care about our oscillator sides uh, we see a trend here, we see a good touch point, we see a strong upward dynamics, we see the formation of the new local minimum and the lower sliding of our channel indicator is being touched. In our case, we open a trade in the direction of the trend to the upside and I think at the end we should have an excite. Uh, this entry principle can be easily considered on OTC pairs, yes, in general, um, because it, it is always better to open on the trend when trading on the OTC market. And the next deal we have closed it in, in a profit without any problem. Let's pick up the next currency pair, open two deals for the amount of $557 for each. Uh, let's start analyzing and pick up the next entry into the deal. Look, here we're going to open up again. We are going to consolidate the result of the last trade. We are going to highlight the trend again the OTC currency pair and we should definitely highlight the trend. We are a great touch point overall. And also after this price pullback, we realize that we have the best uh, opening on the OTC currency pairs uh, is to open on the trend. So we focus on the intra-channel movement and we open on the trend now with you. Let's watch the end of our trades. We have about 20 seconds left. And we have two trades closing in a profit at the last seconds. The movement has taken in its character, the trend has shown its strength and you see a great excite now. That is opening a trade, let's say, five seconds later. We would uh, have closed our trades much more confidently, but in general the principle of entry absolutely correct. Again, the trend did not let us down. Let's open two trades for the amount of 2000s and, and choose the following currency pairs. We 
can see um, that we are coming out of the oversold zone so we open a trade here it's tra trying again but we had a very strong price correction we are not afraid to open a trade even at this relatively bad level uh, that is the deal is not open at here the deal is open at a few levels higher but i am still sure that we will have a good pullback the lower moving trend indicators touch it and our channel indicators and we also see the excite from the oversold zones and our escalator so here we open a trade on the upside we have about 15 seconds left let's watch the result of the trends and our next trades are closed in a profit as i say uh, we had a pullback and we are not hindered by such a bad opening level in general the dynamics was clear and let's open the final trades for the amount of three thousand dollars to consolidate our gains let's go ahead and pick up the next currency pair guys And here we open three trades on the decrease. You can see the excellent point of touching. Let's highlight the walking area. 100% completed in a profit trade. If you have touching uh, the area of support or regular resistance, um, we already understand in principle that the first touch occurs and the price should walk this level. Moreover, we see the excite from the overbought area of our escalator and we also see the formation of a new one. The local maximum, the touch of the upper sliding line we have according to our Bollinger Bands, so we have a little less than 20 seconds left. We are watching the results of our trades. Let's see. last seconds and our closing trades are super easy to choose in the profit with $30 we made $6,500 and I'm super happy with the result and now on this result I will fix my profit let's go to the withdrawal choose a wallet the amount will be $6,500 Our operation is successfully being processed. Here is such an interesting trading today. We have two and one. Uh, write comments. What do you think about this strategy? Also, be sure to give this video a like. Uh, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Telegram channel. Uh, thank you, thank you all for being with me uh, all this time. Uh, see you soon, traders. Good luck. See you soon. Bye bye.